Section 3.9, problem 28. In this problem, you have a kite that's 100 feet above the ground, moving horizontally at a speed of 8 feet a second. At what rate is the angle between the string and the horizontal decreasing when 200 feet of string have been let out? So what is the picture? So here is the ground. Here we have the kite up there. And the point is, it's moving along. It's attached to the ground by this string. Let's call this L. And we're going to drop this horizontal vertical, this vertical line down and give us a right triangle. We're going to call this x. This is what? This is the height, right? This is given to us. It happens to be 100. So what's the equation linking all of this? Well, L squared is equal to 100 squared plus x squared. Why do we want to figure why do we want this equation? Well, once we take the derivative, what's going to come out of that? Well, what's going to come out is a dx dt, which is what? It's the rate at which the kite is changing on the ground. This is going to help us find the rate of the angle. So the angle is theta. So we also need we also need something to relate theta to all of this. So how would we do that? Well, there's a number of ways to do this, but for example, one of the basic ways is to simply say that cosine of theta is equal to x over l. That's by definition, right? It's cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, in which case it's x over l. Now, let's take the derivative of this. So the derivative on the right-hand side is going to be negative sine of theta. This is going to be 1. Well, we have to use the quotient rule. So this is going to be and now everything, of course, is with respect to t, so I'm just going to use prime for, uh, for simplicity. So it's going to be x prime l minus x l prime over l squared. OK. Now we need to figure out some things. So in particular, first of all, what is sine of theta? Sine of theta is, recall, opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of theta is 100 over L. So it's negative 100 over L is equal to x prime L minus x L prime over L squared. What are we trying to find? So, sorry, we also have, we can't forget that there's also a theta prime here. We're trying to find theta prime. So now, now that we have this, we can write theta prime is equal to negative x prime l minus x l prime over 100 L. And I did this simply by moving the 100, negative 100 over L over to the other side through division. Okay, so now we need to figure out what X prime, what L, what X, and what L prime are.
then all we got to do is plug them in and we'll figure out what theta prime is. So, do we have any of these information? Well, yes, we do. We have, for example, x. What do we know x to be? Well, this we have to calculate through L. So L is 200. Well, if L is 200, then, then what? Then x is equal to the square root of 200 squared minus 100 squared, or in other words, the square root of 100 times the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared, that's 3. So you can verify this, but that's x. We also need to know what L prime and x prime are. So, since the kite is moving along the ground horizontally at a speed of 8 feet a second, that means x prime is 8. Now the question is, what's l prime? Aha, well that's where we use this. So now we have to take the implicit differential of this. This becomes 2l times l prime is equal to 2x times x prime. Cancel out the 2s. That means L prime, which we're trying to figure out, is x times x prime over L. And so we can write that L prime is x times x prime, so that's 800 square root 3 over L, so it's, so here, x times x prime is 800 square root 3 over L, which is 200, that's 4 square root 3. Okay, now we can finally plug in everything. So this is equal to what? Well, it's equal to 8 times 200 minus 100 square root 3 times 4 square root 3. Over 100 L. 100 times 200. So this is equal to well on top it's 1600 minus 1200 so that's 400. On the bottom we have 200 times 100. So this is 1 over 50. So it's 1 over 50. And of course the units are going to be radians, so it's 1 over 50 radians per second.